it was obviously a, a big mistake, and uh, it was, you know, the probably the worst day of my life. A mother still grieves for a son lost, not to murder, but to the mental control of the Heaven's Gate cult and its delusional leader. I'm Doe, for starters. The man. Your only chance to survive. The message. Or evacuate is to leave with us. The result. A year ago, this exclusive Rancho Santa Fe mansion was transformed into a macabre mortuary. 39 bodies, all dressed in ritualistic fashion, were found inside, each the victim of a lethal concoction of drugs and dreams. That's something. You wear it as a remembrance? Yeah, just... just Nancy Brown still wears the ring her son David Moore wore the day he took his life here. A color Xerox sheet chronicles the belongings he had at his death. 20 years after he joined the group, 20 years in which she saw him only twice. You kept the door open for David for 20 years, I didn't did, you? and it was very sad. When Heaven's Gate closed, I thought, for me, the gate closed and left, you know, me and the other families behind. We'll never see them again. It was the worst mass suicide in U.S. history, and a year later, there is still an eeriness that hovers over this house. I've never forgotten that, that day or those people. Lawrence Jimenez was here the day of the suicide. He was supposed to clean the pool, but somehow, sensing danger, turned back at the front gate. I assume you won't be back up here anytime oh, soon. Oh, never, never. And a year later, the Heaven's Gate website is still there, though it's unclear how many followers remain. L.J. West is a professor of psychiatry at UCLA and a cult expert. I think there are probably still a few around who cling to the belief that was inculcated in them before, but generally speaking, I'd say it's over. Is it? Rio D'Angelo should know. He is a Heaven's Gate member who survived, the one who discovered the bodies. The Heaven's Gate class, Heaven's Gate Monastery, does not exist any longer. However, there are people that were members at one time that are still here. That's little comfort for this mother with her ever haunting questions about her son's last moments. You know, did he go happily, joyfully right up to his last conscious thought or was there a flicker of, oh no, maybe I shouldn't have done this, I'll never know.